Now that you've finished painting the ceilings and walls, it's time to paint the windows. You'll need a small brush for this project. Now depending on the size of the moulding, a one and a half inch to two and a half inch angled brush will allow you to cut in on those edges and hard to reach parts of the window frame. Remove the hardware that you don't want painted and place them in a small plastic bag or a container so they don't get lost. Now always work from the top of the window down and start painting the window that moves. Paint the sash, the trim, and then the windowsill last. This will help you avoid bumping into or touching wet paint. Paint slowly and carefully and try to avoid getting paint in the sliding tracks so that you avoid gluing your window shut with paint. If you have windows that move up and down, raise the lower sash up and lower the upper sash down. Then paint the lower half of the upper sash. Raise the upper sash back up and lower the lower sash. And then paint the upper half of the upper sash. Now raise the lower sash an inch or two and paint the lower sash. Then paint the trim and windowsill last. Allow the sashes to dry before painting the window frame and windowsill. The goal is to avoid getting paint on the window, but if that happens, no worries, use a window paint scraper to scrape the paint off the glass.